Hi everyone and welcome to Math Sucks. This video is going to help you pass geometry. In this video we're going to go over triangle similarity by looking at what similar triangles are, how to prove triangles similar by angle angle, side side side, and side angle side. Then we're going to take a look at an example on how to find the missing side of a pair of similar triangles. And then finally there will be some practice questions at the end that you can try on your own. So let's get into it. Let's, um, let's first go over what similar triangles are. Triangles are similar to each other when they have equal angles and proportionate sides. The triangles can be bigger or smaller, but as long as they have the same exact angles and the sides are in proportion, they are similar. So in this example right here, we have triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF. So you can see that they look really similar to each other except one is bigger and one is smaller, right? So, so what does this mean if they're similar to each other? So all the angles are congruent. So angle A is congruent to angle D. Angle B, you could see, is a right angle, and it is congruent to angle E, which is also a right angle. So even though triangles are bigger or smaller, they can actually have the same exact degree amount for their angles. And we have angle C is, you could see that it's congruent to angle F. So another main feature of similar triangles is that the sides are always in proportion to each other. So what that means is if we look at side AB, that's why we have this little proportion set up right here. So if side AB, we can see corresponds to side DE in the other triangle, right? So they're in proportion and they have this ratio. So AC, so the hypotenuse, lines up with the other hypotenuse on the other triangle DF. And then our last Part of our proportion here we have side BC corresponding to side EF. Okay, so how can we prove triangles similar? So there are three different ways to prove that two triangles are similar to each other and we're going to go over each. So here is the first one. It is called angle angle or AA for short and we could see that uh, angle A is 50 degrees and it is congruent to angle D which is also 50 degrees. We also see angle B is 75 degrees and angle E is also 75 degrees. So these are, these angles are congruent to each other and these, meaning these triangles are similar. So notice that these two triangles are clearly different in size because if they were the same size with the same angles, then they would be congruent. But because ABC is so much bigger than triangle DEF, we know that these two triangles are similar. Another way to prove triangles are similar to each other is by side, side, side. When you're learning about congruent triangles, side, angle, side, or side, 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 then the lengths are equal to each other. But here, we're always dealing with proportion. When we're dealing with similar triangles, if we look at side length AB, which is 12, and compare it to side length DE, the corresponding side length on the other triangle, it is three. And if we compare those two, we get four. If we divide those two together, we get four. And if we go to the next set of sides, we have AC, which is 16. And then we have D over DF, it's of its corresponding side, which is four. And when we make a ratio and divide these two together, we get four again. So we know that so far, these are in proportion to each other. And our, for our last side, BC is 24 and then EF is six. And 24 divided by six is gonna be four. So we know that all the sides are in proportion and triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF. So we know that they're in proportion because they're all being, being multiplied or divided by four depending on which triangle you look at. So all the side lengths were divided by four here and all the side lengths were multiplied by four. Here. So now for a side angle side, this um, this will also sound familiar from congruent triangles. Here we're going to be looking for congruent angles. So notice we have 75 degrees here at angle B and then 75 degrees here at angle E. So we have a congruent angle. And then for our, in terms of our sides, we want, we want this angle to be surrounded by side lengths that are in proportion to each other between each triangle. So if we look at, if we set up our proportion AB, over here is 12 and then the corresponding side DE is 3 so when we divide those two we get 4 and then when we go down here to our base BC is 24 and then divided by the base of the other triangle EF which is 6 we get 4 so we have 
two sides that are in proportion to each other and a pair of congruent angles. That means triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF by side angle side. So let's look at how to apply these triangle similarity rules with the following example. So given triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF, find the value of the missing side length in triangle DEF. So we marked it with an X. And um, just a little quick side note, we can see um, we're given that the two triangles are similar to each other, but you can see that it is by side angle side because we have these two sides and then they both share this 90 degree angle. So that's just a little interesting side note. So now to find this, we know that triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF. And because we know that, we can set up a proportion because their lengths are going to be have to be in proportion if they're similar to each other. So if we set up a proportion of the sides, we would say AB over DE. Right? Those are the corresponding sides. So AB is equal to 10 over DE, which is equal to 2. And then now we can set this equal to our base values. We have BC over EF. So let's mark that down. So BC is 15 and EF is X. So now maybe you can see what we're going to do here. We're going to be cross multiplying. So when you cross multiply to find the value of X, we'll get 10X is equal to 30. Divide 10 by both sides and we'll get X equals 3. And that's our answer. So X is equal to 3 or EF is equal to 3. They mean the same exact thing. So if you're looking for more, check out the practice questions right here. Answers are in the link in the description below. And if this video helped you, please give it a like and subscribe. Thanks so much for stopping by and happy calculating. Need more practice? Check out mathsucks.org for more questions. Link below. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Happy calculating!